Good morning and welcome. This week we're looking at some snippets from the story of Jesus' journey towards the cross and focusing on God's promises, some of them through the Old Testament, some of them made by Jesus himself. The episode we're looking at today is recorded by all four of the Gospel writers. Matthew, Mark and Luke all place it shortly after Jesus' entry to Jerusalem on what we now know as Palm Sunday. John, however, places it very near the beginning of his Gospel. In those days, writers didn't necessarily arrange things chronologically. John is concerned with themes and spiritual insights, and he places the story where he does to make a point. It's to John's account that we turn today, because he includes an exchange between Jesus and the Jewish authorities that is not covered in the other Gospels, and which we're going to focus on. So turn with me to John 2 and verse 13. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves he said, Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then responded to him, What sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you're going to raise it in three days? But the temple he had spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. The issue that Jesus had with the temple was that its purpose was for worship and prayer and that this was being hampered. It was hampered by those who were charging unreasonable amounts of money for their services and filling the temple courts with the noise of people, animals and money, occupying much of the space of the outer courts, leaving nowhere peaceful for worship by those who were not Jews and were not allowed into the inner part of the temple. Other Gospels record Jesus saying, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. But this is not what I want to focus on this morning. Rather, I want to look at Jesus' extraordinary comment to the Jewish leaders. It's not surprising, given his actions, that they've questioned his authority. So they ask him for a sign to prove it. The sign he promises is extraordinary, but they completely miss the point, even, it seems, after he fulfills it. The sign he promises is this, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. They think he's talking about the stone building, but he's speaking of his own body, knowing full well what is to come. I wonder if this is why John places the incident near the start of his gospel, because from the beginning he recounts signs and significant events that point to who Jesus is. The other Gospels reveal Jesus' identity more gradually as the story unfolds. John goes straight in with a bang at the beginning and backing it up straight away with events from Jesus' life. Once again, we see here that Jesus is fully aware of everything that is going to happen and is in control of the situation. And we see that his word is absolutely sure. If he makes a promise, it happens. We come into Holy Week unlike the disciples, knowing the end of the story, and yet we still waver and doubt. Be reminded today and through this week that Jesus knew what he was doing and was in control, and be reminded that his promises are sure. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this story and so much else in the Gospels showing that through the awful and joyful events of that week, you were fully in control. Lord, help us through this week to grow in love and trust for you. Amen.